We'll carry live here on 3TV, a speech that the entire country no doubt will be watching, especially in New York, the site of those attacks. Our Mike Watkins is live with New Yorkers hopes for this, the president's important speech. Mike? Yeah, Patty, of course, the eyes of New York, the eyes of Arizona, the eyes of the nation, indeed, the eyes of the world will be on President George W. Bush this evening. So what do the people most directly impacted by this tragedy want to hear from the president tonight? Well, that's the question we posed as we took to the soggy streets of Manhattan this afternoon, up near the world-famous Macy's department store in the shadow of the Empire State Building. President Bush is going to address the nation tonight. What do you want to hear the president say? Um, I guess the most frustrating thing is just not knowing what's going to happen, so you know, I want to hear any immediate action that he's going to take. I hope that it's aggressive. What should the president say? No one will answer. Yeah, we do. <laughs> I'm, I'm expecting him saying that as I started speaking, we're bombing somewhere. That's what you want. That's right. We don't want people, innocent people to die. You don't want innocent people no. to die? No. Hey, pal. Me, frankly, you might not want to put this on tape, but I feel... We want to put it on tape. Iraq, Iran, Pakistan, any, all of them, just newcomers. Sir, what do you say? Yeah, what do you say? Anybody else? Why? I agree with my brother. I'm afraid of war. So I don't want an all-out war. Yet I want revenge. What happened was a bad thing, but honestly, it was due to America. The U.S. is a... Wow. It's, the U.S. is a country that we always brought it our nose where it shouldn't belong. What do you want to hear? I really couldn't care. So you couldn't just... care. Okay, thank you. Nuclear weapons. Right, right away. Plain and simple. That's it. Who? Where? Who? Whoever did it. Well, that may be the problem. They know who did it. I don't necessarily think that uh, a military action immediately until we get all our, all our neighbors um, lined up. Coalition is important. Yes, it is. Very important. Because without coalition, then I don't think we have a chance over there. I don't want other pe innocent people to get hurt and other families to be hurt by what I know my family has been hurt by. I'd like to yeah, hear what we're going to do, but I'd like to hear about the economy, and I'd like to hear about, uh, you know, confidence in the American people, and, you know, obviously he's expressed the grief for the tragedy for the family. Do you have confidence? Yes, I do. You come back to us live here in New York. New Yorkers speak in their mind. Nobody ever accused New Yorkers of being bashful. Uh, Patty, now it is up to the Commander-in-Chief. Earlier you asked me about trying to get your arms around, uh, psychologically, mentally, getting your arms around the geography we're talking about. We're sitting on Canal Street for folks who know New York. And behind me, you're looking four blocks straight down Church Street to Ground Zero. That is indeed the site of the wreckage that was once the World Trade Center. The cordoned off area is right below us, so it's basically a, an area that extends four blocks this way and about four blocks in every direction. That's cordoned off by police. Unless you live in the area or have official business, you can't go down there. So you can, we're talking about a fairly small area, but it is so tightly congested in this city. There are probably more people that live in that, that uh, area that we're talking about than live in most uh, cities in the state of Arizona. So we can tell you that geographically it's really not that big, but so highly condensed with so many buildings, little narrow streets, that uh, we're talking about so many people directly affected by this. Uh, of course, these people will be anxiously awaiting to hear what the president has to say. You know, you hear so much about the uh, traumatic effect that this has had on especially New Yorkers. Have you encountered just a high anxiety kind of uh, state of mind for these folks? Well, Patty, you know, I think the news media sort of reflects the mindset of the American public. There is no other story anywhere in the world. We saw that with journalists that we spoke to. It's 24-7 coverage throughout the, throughout the world, in essence. So, uh, yeah, you know, obviously New Yorkers feel strongly about their city, and uh, this is a calamity of unprecedented nature, so it's impacted them greatly, uh, the nation. You know, we're on the verge of perhaps war, and so that, I think, speaks volumes to just how significant all of this is. All right. Thank you very much, Mike. We're going to shift our focus now to Washington, D.C.